So hi dear Capricorn, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general mid-monthly reading for all the Capis Sun, Moon, Venus rising from uh, uh, 15th of November till the 30th, 30th of November 2024. I'm going to tap into recent past, current energies and near future and we will see the guidance as usual starting with the overall energy for the rest of the month of November 2024. And it's not a love reading or career reading or anything specific, but whatever messages will come, I will just let you guys know. If it is not resonating, it's not your story, you can just skip the video. Now, if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. And it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very, very long time now. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Okay, honey. Cappies, let's see the overall energy for Capricorn people for the rest of the month of November 2024. Let's see what it is. Fine. We have the Ten of Cups. You are focused. You are going to be super focused on creating happiness for yourself and people who are like family to you, people who loves you and people who cares for you and the vice versa. It's all about emotional fulfillment and emotional happiness. Okay. Now let's see in the recent past what was happening, Cappies. We have the world card. So some it was a completion of a cycle. Some chapter of your life ended and a brand new chapter uh, started. Some kind of unfinished business, unfinished business was there in, in some case, some, some area of your life and maybe you just felt uh, to finish it okay now in the current scenario judgment letting go and letting god and surrender is on the is on your mind is in your energies right now at this present moment forgiving and forgetting and moving to the next chapter by the end of this month success and victory is on is going to be on your mind success and victory is on going to is going to be on the cards for you guys what is wrong with me fumbling a lot let's clarify the world card in the recent past what was a what was there that was completing that was getting completed. <laughs> let me see. Let's clarify the world. We had the tower, the four of wands and the king of swords. Okay. Some kind of commitment, marriage and or some kind of relationship kind of a deal ended. Or something stable that you were relying on. Like this is something that I can rely on maybe for the rest of my life. It ended at some point of time and you became very, very brutally off. You became very, very brutally rude after that. You were like, okay. This chapter ended, this is done, this is gone, goodbye. Now I can't do anything about it, I can't handle it anymore. This is it. Okay, so you ended a chapter of your life with something or someone because that that was something quite stable, that was something quite that you felt like it's going to like work for the rest of your life. It ended and it made you feel like closed off to everything and everyone else. Now in the current scenario, you are trying your best to let go and let God and surrender. Let's clarify the judgment. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Wands and the Lovers. Now you are starting a brand new chapter in your life with someone else, with someone new or something new. Now it could be a business deal, it could be a relationship deal, it could be something related to your family, it could be anything. Something ended in your life, a chapter ended in your life and you became very cold and often detached. Now you are in the surrender mode and you are restarting or uh, starting or restarting a brand new chapter in your life with brand new energies. For some of you with the same person that you left behind or with the same kind of dynamic, same kind of connection that you had at some point of time with somebody, maybe again, uh, it could be a business deal. For most of you, I'm getting this was a business deal or something related to business or work that you ended and now you're restarting that chapter of your life from scratch with this kind of energy of, okay, whatever happened, happened. I can't change the past. I can't do anything about whatever happened, but I can start with fresh energies, clean slate kind of energies and I can, I can start with love and forgiveness. So this is what you are trying to do right now. You are trying to start a brand new chapter of your life in some area of your life with love and forgiveness. Hmm? By the end of this month, we have the six of wands. Let's clarify this. We have the emperor, the seven of cups and the six of cups. See, by the end of this month, something from your past might end up resurfacing again, whether it's in, in your feelings or in your 
uh, energies or and or physically something or someone from your past is going to resurface and it's going to make you feel very very confused emotionally confused like what the hell should I do now so it could be a problem that is going to resurface from the past okay or it could be something or someone from your past that was very close to your heart at some point of time that will resurface and it's going to make you feel very emotionally confused but what you're going to do is you are taking the charge of your life in your hands you're taking the responsibility of this situation showing up in your life back again and you are going to make the right decision right choice here with all of this energy of experience knowledge wisdom that you have gained till that point of your life so basically some kind of problem or some kind of situation from your past is going to show up again that is going to confuse the hell out of you for some time but then you are going to take the charge of your life or take the charge of the situation in your hands and you are going to handle it like a pro right very beautifully you are going to handle something very very beautifully you are going to handle something like a pro and you are going to be like successful and victorious in whatever decision you are going to make in that direction because you are going to do it very very beautifully i am getting the same kind of energies of capricorn will handle it you will handle it very beautifully the guidance nine of pentacles do not less do not lose the sense of independence that you have in order to make other people happy let me repeat it do not lose the sense of independence that you have in order to make other people or other energies happy even if you are going to be in a relationship with somebody or the rest of your life or even if you are going to get married or something do not lose your individual individuality i should not say independence individuality i must say right so you are a different person you are a different energy so make sure that the other energy the other person that you are going to connect with is on the same page as you are and they are also an independent person they are not relying on you only for their uh, happiness or their healings and the vice versa hmm? so yeah thank you so much for tuning in cappies i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste